21 Savage has cemented himself as one of the biggest rappers in the game through his iconic collaborations with super producer Metro Boomin. The question is, why is 21 Savage so obsessed with Metro's production? Metro Boomin wants some more, nigga. Young Savage, why you trapping so hard? It's no secret that 21 Savage has a unique, dark sound. And Metro helps bring 21's evil sound to life countless times by using a piano as the foundation of the beat. So with that in mind, I grabbed a grand piano from Keyscape and laid down this pattern. This sounds fire, but when you listen to Runnin' by 21 Savage, you can hear the same piano chord repeating over and over. How the first one Savage mode my mood, that's what it was. 2016 we was running around. By chopping this minor chord and playing it over and over, Metro helps give 21 Savage the dark and gritty sound that he needs on a beat. So to do something similar, I made another MIDI pattern where the piano is playing a repetitive chord. This sounds nice, but on running the piano sounds a lot more vintage and sampled because it is a sample. So to give this piano a more sampled vibe, I'm gonna add some analog saturation to give it that distorted and sampled feeling. Now we've got a nice foundation for our beat. So let's add another one of Metro's go-to instruments for 21 Savage, strings. If you listen to Glock in My Lap by 21 Savage, you can hear a crazy violin that Metro uses to give it that evil signature 21 Savage sound. Ah, black tux, I'm a business man. Pussy. Me and I still checking killers hands. So to recreate that sound, I've loaded up this Chris Hine contact bank and laid down these violin trills. That's sounding pretty crazy. But since his solo album in 2018, Metro has leveled up his production for 21 Savage by bringing in people who play real instruments. So to add some live instruments to this beat, I've dragged in a real violin phrase from my Dark Knights multi-kit to really give it that evil 21 Savage sound. Pretty crazy. Another thing Metro does is add string buildups before the drop, and you can hear that on 21 Savage and Metro's Many Men. Metro! So to do something similar, I grabbed strings from the BBC Symphony Orchestra, and I put down this pattern for the buildup. As you can tell, it definitely helps transition nicely into the main drop of the loop. The reason this works so well is because I've done this automation clip with the volume that builds up and creates a crescendo sound for the next section of the loop. If we go back to Runnin' by 21 Savage, the eerie vocal sample that Metro uses really gives the beat a dark and unique energy. I know she around for the money, but act like she loyal, I don't feel the love. I'm so rich. So to recreate my own vocal in that style, I grabbed this opera vocal from my Dark Knights multi-kit. But this doesn't sound similar to running yet. On running, Metro chops up the sample so it plays over and over, just like we saw with the piano. By playing the sample in this repetitive manner, it makes it a lot easier for 21 Savage to catch a flow on the beat. So I chopped up that opera vocal sample, and this is what it sounds like with the piano. So now we have most of the melodic elements of our beat done. But one thing Metro loves to do for 21 Savage is add switch ups. So to do something similar, I grabbed a soul loop from my upcoming Elements of Soul kit and added some effects for the intro of our beat. Now, for some final touches, I dragged in some textures and accents from my Dark Knights multi-kit, and this is what our finished loop sounds like. Yeah! 
Now that we've got a crazy 21 Savage style melody, it's time to add what Metro's best known for, those smacking drums. But before that, if you've liked the sounds that I've been using in this beat so far, you can find a lot of them in my Dark Knights multi kit. This is definitely the best kit for dark beats that I've seen. It comes with 350 trap loops, over 100 analog one shots, 100 melody and drum midis, two full drum kits, an analog lab bank, 124 real flute and real violin phrases, and much, much more. I've been using this in all of my dark stuff for months and I promise that you're gonna like it. So if you wanna check that out, the link is in the description below. Metro knows that keeping the drums simple creates space for 21 Savage to shine. Having this space helps 21 create his unique flows, but making simple drums sound interesting can be a challenge. So to give his drums a more unique and interesting sound, Metro started using an MPC instead of FL Studio to make his drums. So I'm gonna try to give the drums on this beat a more human feeling like Metro's been doing since Savage Mode 2. One of the easiest ways to get this human bounce is by messing with the hi-hats. And there's a few things that you can do to your hi-hat to get this sound. You can mess with the velocity, mess with the timing, or even play it live on your keyboard or drum pad just like Metro does. So for this one, I drew in a basic hi-hat pattern, and then I went up here and humanized the MIDI a couple times to add some differences to velocity and timing. Then I added some simple open hats like Metro does to enhance that bounce. Now we need a snare, so I laid down the basic snare pattern and then I took a listen to Metro's Memphis inspired drums on Knife Talk. And as you can tell, that snare roll is sounding crazy. So to recreate this, I dragged in a snare midi from the Dark Knights multi-kit, and this is what that sounds like. So now we've got a nice idea going, but it wouldn't sound like 21 Savage without those mean Metro Boomin 808s. So to tie this all together, we need a hard hitting kick in 808. And if you listen to the drums on Knife Talk, you can hear that the 808 cuts off abruptly in the pattern. Guys keep blickies, and you know the weed sticky, my finger itchy. Like the leave hickey. So to replicate that, I turned off the snap to grid and randomly dragged the 808 notes in MIDI to stop before the next one plays. And combined with a kick, this is what our drum pattern sounds like. Before I play the full finished beat, if you learned something from this video, hit that subscribe button so I can hopefully teach you guys some more later. That violin is crazy. If you want to learn some crazy secrets to making dark beats, click this video right here.